Good morning, folks. Today we're awaiting a fast stream of solar wind while monitoring the northwest Pacific as the most energetic area on Earth right now. There is a new sunspot group cresting over the eastern limb. We'll peek in on all of the weather, including the catastrophe in Louisiana. If you haven't seen the little dog with huge lung capacity, you will in a moment. We'll also do some review of the earthquake challenge, but we begin over at spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last 24 hours on our star. Pretty clear that nothing much happens but for the event left side at the limb, and the solar flaring is equally tame with only low-level C-class events. You can see that here, absolutely no flashing, and that's what we would see if there were flares. For your reference, a powerful solar flare might look like this in the light blue 131 angstrom view. This is from the March 2012 event. The sunspots don't paint much of a different story as the large grouping is spread magnetically and unlikely to produce anything. Meanwhile, that pop you may have noticed earlier at the left side came from that sunspot group just cresting there. Solar wind is fairly calm and steady, even if the plasma is penetrating into the atmosphere a bit more than we'd like to see. Of course, we're now on a 24-hour alert for high-speed streams of a coronal hole that will look like the density went up and then fell off a cliff as the speed and plasma temperature rises. Technological and biological health effects may be in play for this one. Let's quickly look at the latest stereo A image of the far side of the sun. Right side here is what we'll see coming into Earth view next. After that sunspot that's coming now, it's going to be a couple calm days until that next coronal hole. Last one shook the southwest Pacific, and it's still unsettled with a volcano eruption in Vanuatu, but our focus is shifting north now. This coronal hole is part of the same southern system, actually. It's just trans-equatorial, maybe less geo-effective, but its heliographic position is only slightly west of where Earth's is relative to the last uptick zone in the south. Major low-pressure Earth spot cluster here that actually mirrors the sunspot cluster from three days ago. That's an important delay period we see a lot, by the way. So as we watch the forecasted movement of these systems here, please note that Earth spots, OLR, and perhaps even foreshock activity put the Northwest Pacific on alert, even though the coronal hole itself appears more of the Middle East to Southern China variety. So 20,000 rescues, and that number is going up by the hour, along with the water levels. If you haven't seen this yet, a moderate stress rescue goes wrong when the car begins to sink. In 16 seconds, that guy got into the vehicle and pulled her out, but her yells and concern are no longer for herself at that point. Her dog is still in the car, and it's nearly 40 seconds total from car filling with water until that dog gets his head above water resilient little guy. Anyway, from heartwarming to shield pounding. If you are unaware of just how asinine the earthquake challenge has become in the last week, you have got to see the update. And if you were one of the people who got a response from Jeffrey Love saying we've never predicted anything and we need to get published, please politely respond with the information therein about last year's successful predictions and then maybe give a link to the August 11th morning news where we called the Southwest Pacific to be on earthquake alert just hours before the seven-pointer struck New Caledonia. And if anyone else receives such an email flat out lying to you about the predictions or publications, please send that along to me as well. Folks, apparently many of you thought as I did that Adrian did a great job on Fly on the Wall this past weekend. It was a different topical excursion, but it was enlightening and a little unsettling. We've got weather and shots of our star to close. It's 4 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.